Hi guys! Today we're going to be going over various girls STEM opportunities. It's hard enough to connect with organizations and with other women in STEM or tech, but it's especially hard in a time of COVID. While it might not seem like it, there are many STEM programs out there, and finding just one open door is the first step to being involved. But all hope is not lost. Once you get involved with one community, there is a lot of cross-posting and many people will mention and link to other opportunities and programs. Your network and connections will grow exponentially. Now let's move on to the specifics. I'll be going into detail about two organizations that I'm a part of. Then we'll go over how to find hackathons and tech events. And then finally, I'll mention some miscellaneous resources and other sources that I know about but don't have direct experience with. Okay, so to start off, I'll be talking about Built by Girls. BBG is an organization that helps girls get involved in tech by matching them with mentors in the industry. It's really easy to sign up and there are two main programs. First is WAVE, where you get matched with a woman in your industry every cycle, which is around three months. There's also the new peer networking program, which matches you with another girl in the BBG community. I've had great experiences with both programs. My WAVE mentor is a Google employee who helps me grow professionally and she's really fun to talk to and taught me a lot about the working world. My peer match is now a close friend of mine and we even did a hackathon together. BBG also has a Slack channel, which you can use to find out about different events and communities. The second organization I'm involved in is the National Center for Women in Technology, NCWIT. NCWIT has a lot of programs and resources for women in tech. They sponsor research and also give awards. I got involved in NCWIT through their Aspirations in Computing Award. As a high school or college student, you can ask your teacher or professor to vouch for your application for this award. I strongly recommend that you apply even if you're like vaguely interested in anything related to tech or CS. The NCWIT Slack channel and Facebook group are very active in supportive communities. People are always posting internship opportunities, scholarships, and referral drives. It's a great place to get involved with women in tech and connect with others similar to you. From these two organizations, I found out about pretty much every hackathon and event I went to in high school and college. I've met a lot of people and got involved in so many cool projects. Now, moving on to other places to find STEM events and projects. Eventbrite is the place to go if you're looking for a broad variety of events on all sorts of topics. If you keep your eye out and check every once a week or so, you can find some really cool conferences, especially free ones. If you're specifically looking for hackathons, I would start by searching MLH, Major League Hacking, since they sponsor and hold their own hackathons. Also, DevPost is a great place to start looking for more hackathons. I think MLH has a lot more beginner-friendly ones, while DevPost is a major hub for all hackathons, so there's a lot more opportunities on there. There are also lots of college hackathons, and many are focused towards women. They sometimes show up on DevPost and MLH, but I usually find out about them through Slack channels. Now moving on to the final section. I want to mention these because these programs and organizations are really good from what I've heard, and I know they have a lot of resources. First, there's Code with Classy, which is run by Carly Kloss. It's a pretty good intro to programming and writing code. There's also the Grace Hopper Conference, which is one of the biggest conferences for women in CS. Tickets are so expensive, but usually they can give organizations like NCWIT and different colleges and universities a few tickets for students. So see if you can find a ticket that way. There's also Girls Who Code, which is more of a chapter organization that you can start in your own school. Finally, there's the Anita B organization, which also supports different conferences. 
Other resources I wanted to mention were college programs, which are mainly targeted towards high schoolers. For example, Carnegie Mellon University has an event called Tech Nights, which teaches really cool topics like machine learning and robotics. If you wanted to find out more opportunities on your own, there are also public Discord channels for college and high school students to study, network, and share opportunities. These are a great place to just lurk if you're nervous or find friends. That's all the tips I have. Good luck and just remember that you're never alone, so always reach out to others. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave a comment and like this video if you want me to make more content similar to this. Thank you for watching!